Right guys, yes, I've been away for a little while. So here, horse, uh, Thornbury, test through, check your right door mirror. Now we straighten up, and now we follow the road ahead. Yes guys, I've been away for a couple of days. Taking in some sun, enjoying that fine, beautiful Yorkshire weather. So you'll be on this road, you'll be following the road down. Now here, you've got two, three test routes that go down this road in Thornbury. So if you're following the road down, we've got a red car coming, we're slowing down, we will need to stop. My man has his right of way. Now right door mirror check, now we carry on and we follow the road ahead. Right mirror check again. Now we're looking at that girl wearing the uh, green top with walking the dog, just in case the dog walks, runs. Now we scan the crossing, it looks clear, we follow the road ahead. Now as we're going ahead, you'll either get the second road on the left, which is that one, where the, I believe it's Cemetery Road, or you'll follow the road ahead. He'll give you a good um, Old Courts Road, I do apologise. For some reason I call it Cemetery Road. I think it's Cemetery Road from the opposite side. And then here, you need to watch out for this bend. So you can see the sign on the left telling you it's a sharp turn to the left. It's illuminated in orange yellow it's getting your attention look at the floor markings left mirror check come back into your lane quick right mirror check see what's going on make sure you speed around 25 26 no more now that the road straightens up follow the road ahead now here you need to just watch out for uh, the local bus service it comes down um, I believe it's this road here that we can see on the left So it usually comes down Ingrams Avenue and it'll turn left and it'll pull up over here. Then you've got another zebra crossing to watch out for where that green uh, light is just further. You've got um, a pedestrian crossing there then you've got a zebra crossing a little further up. Now here your speed make sure it's appropriate for where you are. So I'm not saying 30 is too fast or too slow. I'm saying look at the road conditions and adjust your speed accordingly. And you can see the zebra crossing, and if you can't, uh, you won't be passing your driving test. Now we can see it, so on the right hand side it looks clear, but on the left we can't see. So make sure you're traveling at speed that you can make a gentle adjustment to your speed and stop if you need to, because there's a school on the left. Left mirror check here, and there is a school along that road there, Victoria Road, you can see it's down there. So as you're going along here, uh, you've got your two routes that carry on. One of them will go down towards um, Town Street. The second one goes down by Ringway's Garage. So it's telling you to slow. So it's telling you to slow down from 30, not from 10. So make sure your speed's appropriate and keep left. And then remember to keep left as you're going round. And then see where that car is down there? You need to go a little slower there because buses cut the corner as they're coming up into this road. So they cut the corner from there coming along here. So that lorry, so we would have to stop for here. And now we'd carry on. The reason why we need to stop for the lorry, and that's exactly the same as the bus, it's because it's a solid long object and it can't bend. Also, uh, he was committed before we were. One of your test routes from Thornbury comes out of this road over here, guys. So you come back up. And then we can see that the, the base of this lorry is sticking out, so be careful again. You'll need to slow down here and follow the road around. Now the speed limit is not 20 here, it's 30. So make sure you're traveling at an appropriate speed. For that corner, if you did drop it to 10, there's no issue. So now you'd increase your speed because it's not necessary traveling so slow when you can clearly see it's safe to go. Then you'd adjust your speed again because you can't see well over here. So you drop your speed. Now we can see that bin wagon coming up the road and it looks like we need to stop. So inside mirror check first and then we come to a gentle stop. Now if you're clever, you do what we're doing, you keep rolling. So what you do is you slow the car down enough for the vehicle to go past you without you actually stopping. 
but if you can't there is absolutely no problem at all you can stop the car if you think it's safe to do so so now we can see the speed limit has gone into 20 we followed the road ahead and we continue going ahead so here's where your two test routes start so we're going to follow the road ahead we're going to go towards ringways so we stay in the lane on the left and we follow the road ahead We can see the light going amber, going red. We're looking at rear view mirror. And then we come to a stop at this line here. And then the second secondary traffic lights are red. Now another, I wouldn't say it's a common test fail because it's not, um, is when you are asked to go ahead at the next traffic lights, for some strange reason, some learners, they go over the arrow that points to the right. Now you know, and I know guys, going over that arrow means, and it implies that you're turning right. And because you're not turning right, keep your car to the left. Look at the floor markings and make sure you're within your lane, in the center of your lane at all times, unless the road is wide enough for you to keep close to the left. So now our light's gone green, we'll follow the road ahead. We're looking at our left door mirror. We keep the car to the left. Quick look in our door mirrors. And when I say look in our door mirrors, you should be able to do it. It shouldn't be an issue. So if you're struggling to look in your door mirrors, it means you're not comfortable. And if you're not comfortable, it means you don't feel safe. But it's perfectly fine to look in your door mirrors. And we can see taxi man's front end sticking out. My man's doing a U-turn over there. Now we're looking at that transit van. So he's slowing down and we're going to stop to let him come through. Then we're going to carry on. Now we can carry on. We're going to go before the bus comes up. And then we'll pull our car to the left and carry on. And that, guys, is how you drive on some of the Thornbury test route. Thank you for watching.